Forty years have passed, but we must look to the future. Much has been done, but looking to the future, I would like to talk about breakthrough once again achieved by ITU in this area. The point is that 80% of all the information a person receives is visual. Hence, ITU's general orientation towards the increasingly widespread introduction of display screens as we move towards a future when there will be screens everywhere, showing sporting events, everyday life, TV programs, screens in the metro, in shops, and so on. ITU has not only promoted the introduction of screens and video information systems, it has taken a revolutionary step by combining mobile communications with large interactive video information screens. In the report 22-49, drawn up by ITU, we read that using standard mobile communications terminals, one can communicate with a TV screen in the street, in a train, wherever you may be. These are interactive screens. What does it mean? It means that there will be millions of screens throughout the world. That is already obvious. They will appear over the coming five years. There are now some five billion mobile phones in the world. Now, just imagine what will happen if all these people on the street, in the shopping center, in libraries or museums can interact with these screens. Think of the resulting increase in traffic involving all the different means of communication, supported by satellite links, terrestrial links, fiber optic links, Wi-Fi, and so forth. That is why the merger of TV with mobile communications is the new revolutionary trend opened up by ITU. And that, in my view, is the important thing for this 40th anniversary.